Hey guys, Bill with Bear Island Landing. Hey, I just got um, here a few weeks ago a new, well I got two of them, two Renogy 300 watt solar panels, 24 volt. And it's been kind of cruddy weather and I didn't get a chance to hook it up to the MPP solar DIY, you know, generator that I built here. Um, pretty happy with it. Um, but I thought today I'd just plug it in. It's the end of February and uh, the sun is on the southwest uh, uh, horizon starting to set. It's in the afternoon and um, I've got it hooked up and I'm just bringing it in to, through the two PV inlets right here and I'm pulling about 120 watts off of the solar panels but my batteries are just about fully charged. Um, so it's starting to be regulated down uh, so the input isn't quite as high. Um, but what I what I learned here is I had I plugged this thing in here and I'll, I'm going to test it one more time. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. And turn it on. And one thing that's really neat about this uh, inverter is that it'll regulate the solar input based on the load and where the batteries are. So right now if I turn this on, I'm going to see the solar power increase. Oh, let me just make sure it's on. Oh, I got to turn on my inverter. So my inverter is now turned on. So it just kicked on. And what's cool now is my, my watts coming off my solar panel have now just gone up. Okay. They've gone up quite a bit. Now I'm going to go to the high heat setting. And now my solar panel is went from about 120 watts input to 240 watts input. So that's pretty cool. This thing's nice and hot. So this inverter is doing its job as advertised. Power coming in has helped offset some of the load I'm pulling off the battery. Okay? So I'm running off of the batteries and off the PV system. I'll go ahead and turn it down. So now all of a sudden, my watts coming off the solar panel have just dropped. So now I'm down to about 150 watts. So I went from about 250 down to 150 because um, the batteries are, let me see, they're about, you know, they're almost, you know, they're at 29, 29 volts. So, um, you know, they're only going to go up to about 29.3 to 29.4 um, once they're fully charged. So a nice little test. Um, I just learned something about... Uh, um, this inverter that <clears throat> the uh, charge controller in there is regulating um, as it needs to based on based on the load on the batteries or how much is in the batteries for power so uh, pretty cool stuff I'm pretty excited about it and um, hopefully uh, hopefully I'll have good luck with this at my cabin this summer I've got two of these solar panels that I'll run in parallel out there and uh, bring power into uh, into these batteries to help uh, help uh, prevent um, me having to use my generator on a regular basis. So for nighttime ops or or uh, maybe in a cloudy weather day, I can I can run the generator. But my goal will be to use this system for any nighttime operations um, at the cabin. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.